going to take a look at the hero of our story, Charlie Bucket and his family. Let me introduce them to you. This is the home of Charlie Bucket. Seven people live here. There are only two rooms and only one bed, so you can see that life is extremely uncomfortable. These two very old people are the father and mother of mother of Mr. Bucket. Their names are Grandpa Joe and Grandpa Joseph And these two very old people are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. Their names are Grandpa George and Grandpa Grandma Georgina. The bed was given to the poor old grandparents because they were so old and tired. And of course, they're all over 90 years old. This is Mr. Bucket. This is Mrs. Bucket. They are they and little Charlie Bucket sleep in the other room upon a mattress on the floor. As you know, this can be very cold in the winter time. They can't buy a better job because they don't have any money and they there aren't any better jobs. Mr. Bucket is the only one that can work and well, he lost his job a few weeks ago. Yes, it's very sad, but you see, the toothpaste factory had to, to close down. Without Mr. Willy Wonka's chocolate factory open, nobody ever got cavities anymore and they didn't buy any toothpaste and, well, you know how it, it goes. Oh, wait, he, I almost forgot. This is our hero, Charlie Bucket. Charlie is a nice boy, of course, he's been starving lately. In fact, the whole family has. I'm worried about Charlie, though. Why did you know that Charlie is so weak from not eating that he walks slowly? instead of running like the other kids, so he can take his energy? Well, I said far too much already. Let's find out what's happening at the bucket house now. Uh, see you later. When I see that portrait, I found the golden toothpaste because I want to go to the toothpaste back to the museum. I hope it's no one like that. We're part of Bloopy Boy. He's fat. Or a squirrel to the bird of the soul to the or as a beastly that and that bubble pop and growl of glory guard. Or look at such a useless like that TV boy. It makes me wonder if all the children like nowadays have seen you know like these cracks with the very bad Of course not. Some do. In fact. In fact, a lot of them do, but not all. And now there's only one ticket left. Quite so, and just as sure I'll be having capital for tomorrow for supper tomorrow. That tickle that ticket's going to some nasty little beast who doesn't deserve it. I bet if there's somebody who would like to find the golden ticket. How about how about you, Charlie? You like chocolate more than anyone I've ever saw. Yes, so Grandpa Joe, you know it. It just makes me think when I have to pass Mr. Wonka's chocolate factory every day. As I go to school, the smell of the love of wonderful chocolate makes me dreamy. And I often fall asleep and not think of Mr. Wonka's friends. But do his eyes are going to bad dreams don't come true? Just imagine me. Imagine it. that I could win the fifth golden ticket. Why, it's, 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 it's called imagination. Oh my great, you may be pure imagination, but I've had, I've had to tell that what you imagine sometimes comes true. Do you really think so, Grandpa Joe? Yeah, I wonder. 